Hey, Randy, you have a bit of time to talk? Hey, Susan, what's up? Sure, no problem. I just wanted to confirm the details for tomorrow's wedding, just in case. Yeah, no problem. Tonight we stay at our respective parents' homes. And we drive over there the first thing in the morning. In the front of the church at 8.30. That was the plan, right? Yeah, that sounds about right. Alright then. See you tomorrow morning. Yeah, I look forward to it. Hope I can sleep tonight. Yeah, me too. Hey, you're that girl. Susan, was it? I'm Linda. Is it true that you're gonna marry my babe, Randy? Are you serious? What the hell is all this about? You know what you are? A sneaky little snake. You stole my guy from me! I've known Randy for a super long time, way more than you. We've been friends since grade school. Did you know that? We were made for each other. We were born to be together. It's always been this way. Our love is forever binding. Nobody come between us. But then you come along. What the hell is this? Why are you guys getting married all of a sudden? This was not the way it was supposed to happen. Randy is mine! Today's wedding is for me and Randy. You are not welcome. I assure you, Randy is not gonna marry you. I'll make sure of it. You guys are in the midst of this fake wedding. I see that you arranged a poolside buffet. That was my idea. I always talked about having a poolside wedding ever since we were kids. Hold on a sec. This kind of proves that Randy had me in mind. Yeah, this is 100% proof that he wanted to marry me. Randy, don't worry, love. I will do all I can to rescue you from the clutches of that witch. Just you wait and see. I will never give up until he's mine forever. Hey, Susan, we need to talk. Randy, yeah, right. Are you okay? I mean, after that incident. Yeah, I strained my ankle? Seriously? This stranger came out of nowhere and pushed me into the pool. I lost my balance and twisted my ankle. Oh my god, are you okay? Well, it wasn't too bad. Not broken or anything. Went to the hospital and got it checked out. A little swollen, but I'll be okay. Well, that's a relief at least. Just glad it was nothing life-threatening. About the wedding... I left so suddenly and just left everything up to you. How did it go? Yeah, well... We couldn't very well continue with the ceremony. How could we without the bride, right? I decided to cancel the whole thing and ask everyone to leave. Yeah, I figured as much. I guess you had no other choice. The main problem was that stranger who pushed you. It happened so suddenly, and with all the chaos, this person just disappeared. The cops are still looking. Seriously? According to witnesses, the person is definitely a woman. But she was wearing a mask and hoodie, so no one got a look at her face. Yeah, had dark sunglasses on too. I couldn't get a make on the face. But there is something else. What is it? You have suspicions about who it might be? I only just checked the line messages on my phone. It was just before I was pushed as I was standing by the poolside, but I got a weird text from this girl named Linda. Excuse me? Did you say Linda? Apparently she's some childhood friend of yours. Says she's known you since grade school? Yeah, she was my neighbor at my parents' old house. We moved some years ago. Linda lived there. She was a bit younger than me. Actually, I don't know her that well. As a matter of fact, her brother Jim was more of a friend. We hung out a lot, since grade school. Jim and I would go out all the time, and his little sister Linda would always try to tag along. I see. That's how you know her, huh? But... 
You don't know her, do you? No, this is the first I'm hearing about her. I wonder where she got my line ID. Yeah, that is kind of creepy. I'll send you the text she sent. Look it over and see what you think. I know she's a childhood friend and all, and I hate saying this, but reading her text, she sounds a bit, how do I put it, erratic? To be honest, I'm starting to think that maybe it was her. Oh my god, you think? Alright. Anyway, the fact is someone threatened you and attacked you. Maybe it would be better if you stay at the hospital for a bit longer. You know, just in case. I feel it may be safer under the circumstances. Yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe that would be the best option for now, at least until we know more. My folks will take care of things over here, so I'm headed over there right now. I'll read the line messages from Linda on the way there, and we could discuss it. Yeah, okay. Sounds good. I also wanted to verify something with the company about Linda. Pardon me, your company? What's your company have to do with any of this? Yeah, I had my suspicions and asked my assistant from the office to check out some files. The IT people can also check out her line ID. Just a hunch, but I wanted to make sure. Once I verify it, I'll explain everything. Okay, no problem. Hey, hey, Susan! Did you learn your lesson? My little scheme went according to plan. Your little wedding plans went down the drain. I told you I would not let it happen. I had to disappear, but my plan worked. I saved Randy from your death grip. Once you're gone, I can step in and marry my love. All you suffered was a sprained ankle. You should be grateful it wasn't something worse. Hey, wait a sec! Seems like kind of a waste to just cancel that wedding today. I mean, think about it. I always wanted to have a poolside wedding. Randy and I always talked about it. Maybe I should contact Randy and go ahead with the wedding. With me, of course. I bet Randy planned this whole wedding from the very start with me in mind. I know it. He always loved me like that. Oh yeah, I already have a wedding dress ready, so no need to borrow yours. How could I even think about wearing the dress of someone who tried to steal the love of my life? Yuck! Boy, oh boy, luck has really been on my side recently. I'll be graduating from college this year, so... Finally finishing up my thesis. My life is moving along nice and smooth. Now all I need to do is top it off by marrying my love, Randy. Then next comes our baby. Hey, Randy, you there? This Linda character... She's definitely kooky. Actually, I'm getting a bit scared. Huh? What happened? I got a line message from her again. It seems she's admitting it was her who knocked me into the pool this morning. I see. Alright. I'm almost there. We'll be there in ten. If you get a message from her again, just ignore her until I get there. Okay, hurry, please. Hey, Randy. This is your lover, Linda. How are you? I bet you're wondering where I got your line ID. Your grandma was nice enough to give it to me. She always liked me. I was able to get that snake Susan's line ID from her, too. I waited so long for this day to arrive. I'm finally gonna marry my love! Thank you for waiting for me, Randy. After you moved away seven years ago... Wow. It seemed like ages ago. I longed to see you again. You know what? I wish you would have talked to me before you decided to marry that little tramp. I mean, we've known each other since grade school. That's the least you could have done. If I had only known sooner, I would have ended that relationship before it even got started. But I was glad I was able to get the news on time. I hopped on the train and rushed over there. Saved you in the nick of time. So it was you that pushed Susan. You do know she was injured. Randy.
Andy, my love! I knew you wouldn't forget about me! Excuse me? Forget you? You've been texting Susan all day! Yeah, but that really hit home. She'll back off after that. Hey, Randy, where are you right now? I must admit that the whole thing got way out of proportion. People think I'm some sort of crazed stalker or something, so I'm lying low for now. Randy, could you do me a favor? Could you come and pick me up and then explain to everyone that it was one big mistake? Uh, you're saying this was all just one big mistake? That's what you want me to tell everyone? Yeah, I only did this to save you from a loveless marriage. I did you and your family a huge favor. Don't you get it? You can explain that way to everyone. You know, just tell everyone that it was me that you wanted to marry all along. I'm sure everyone will go for it. I mean, why wouldn't they? Uh, hey, Linda. We haven't seen or even talked to each other for the past seven years, right? So, where did all this come from? This whole thing about us getting married? This is the first I'm hearing about this. Because I received a message from you, that's why. A hidden message? Well, first off, the date of the wedding. I know you're aware that it's my birthday this month. So I know you arranged the day of the wedding with my birthday. I'm so grateful that you remembered. And another thing that I confirmed? That you arranged a buffet-style reception by the pool. What we always talked about! I knew right away that you were sending a message. I went to a friend's wedding about two years ago, and they had the same sort of setup by the pool, and I've been obsessed about having a wedding by the pool ever since. And what do you know? You remembered and made my dream come true. I can't thank you enough, Randy. Yeah, right. Actually, I could think of better ways to convey a message, to be honest. I bet you knew right away that I would notice. So, where are you now? I knew you would come around. You're coming to pick me up then? I'm checked in at the Berkeley Hotel downtown. You know, the one near the airport. Apparently there was a sudden cancellation for one of their suites. They gave it to me for the price of a single room. After our marriage later today, we can stay overnight in this beautiful suite room. This is gonna be great! Okay, could you wait for me at the park nearby? Jefferson Park is right across the street, right? Excuse me, the park? Yeah, it's just across the street. Oh, yeah, I see it from my window. Nice little pond in the middle. Shall we meet at the little gazebo? Yeah, right. Wait there. I have a real big surprise for you. A surprise? Seriously? I'm so happy! Okay. I'm headed out the door right now. Don't be late, Randy. <coughs> Susan, pick up. I know you're there. This is all you're doing. I know it. Where did you take my Randy? He was supposed to pick me up at the park and we were supposed to have our wedding. So why are the police here? Did you call them? Now why would you contact me instead of Randy? You really are screwed in the head. How dare you! Are you calling me crazy? A little thief like you is calling me crazy? I heard you ran into the woman's bathroom at the park entrance. I'm not coming out of here until Randy comes to pick me up. Hey, Linda? Wake up! I mean, you're about to graduate from college, right? Excuse me? You have enough credits, you finished your thesis, your application to a major corporation has been accepted, you have a bright future ahead of you! Do you really want to throw it all away? Huh? Why do you even know any of that? Oh, I get it. All you're interested in is becoming a housewife. Is that right? Well, just my luck because Randy's grandma said he prefers independent, career-oriented women, like me! He has no interest in having a boring housewife. That's why I went to college, because I didn't want to be like you, a lame, stay-at-home wife. I figured I'd become a businesswoman and become Randy's respected wife. Oh, really? Well, then this is going to be even more disappointing for you. Huh? 
What do you mean by that? What are you trying to say? Okay. Your application to our company has been terminated. Pardon me? Maybe we need to reassess our recruitment program. But I'm glad we caught your application in time. I don't know what would have happened if we had hired you. Huh? What are you even talking about? You have no right digging into my affairs. Hello, Linda. Randy, finally! Hey, what's going on here? The police are out here. They're trying to arrest me for some reason. I have no idea what's going on. Please help me out here! It was me who called the police. Huh? Excuse me? I told you there was a surprise link for you. Wait, what? The police? Was your surprise? You completely ruined my wedding today. And you injured Susan. How could I not call the police? But calling the police is the only start. Uh, wait. Pardon me. Ruined your wedding? I rescued you! We are going to have our wedding today, right? You're coming to pick me up, right? I'm not going to marry you! Are you nuts? Uh, wait a sec, what? There's a lot I want to say, but this I will say right now. My wife is Susan and Susan alone. You have no place in my life. Excuse me? No way! Did you hit your head or something? You got this all wrong! She's not your wife! I got your message, Randy. You were calling out to me, right? It's okay! You can be honest, Randy. You love me, right? You're talking about the poolside cafe and your birthday at that crap, right? That's right! Well, that was just a coincidence. I had no idea it was your birthday. How am I supposed to know that? Uh... Hold it a sec. What? We just decided on that date because of our work schedule. Now's the only day we are both available. The poolside reception? That was Susan's idea. I had nothing to do with it. It wasn't as if I was sneaking your dreams come true or anything. Uh, really? Also, you don't have any inkling about the damage you caused, do you? What are you talking about? Susan just told you they terminate your application to the company. They were going to hire you. Yeah, what was that about? What's this have to do with my getting hired? Did you tell her about the company I applied to or something? Yeah, it's true that I got a letter from the Brown Technologies that I will be hired after I graduate, starting in September. Anyways, what's she have to do with any of this? Don't you even know the name of the CEO who runs Brown Technologies? Uh, excuse me, the CEO of Brown Technologies? She had her assistant check with HR regarding their new hires and found you on the list. Uh, wait a second. Say again? Well, here's what happened. The company went and hired you and as a token of your appreciation, you pushed her into a pool and injured the CEO of the very company that hired you. And then, ruining the whole wedding. Go figure. Are you for real? That little thief is the CEO of Brown Technologies? No way. You still can't believe it? But how could she be? It doesn't make sense. We were supposed to get married. I waited seven years for this. I loved you all these years, and I'm sure you have too, right? Sorry to break your bubble, Linda. I have never loved you. I hardly even know you. How could you say that? Don't you remember that incident seven years ago on the day you moved away? What are you even talking about? The letter. The letter I left in your mailbox. I wrote that we would get married once we grew up. A letter? I also wrote that if you weren't interested, that I wanted you to write back and tell it to me straight. But you never replied. That's why I've been waiting for the past seven years. Hold on one second, Linda. I have no idea what you're talking about. I've never got any letter. Pardon me? That can't be right. 
That day is as clear as day. It was the 2nd of September, Sunday morning. It was raining outside. I wrote my feelings toward you. I laid it all out for you to see and left it in your mailbox. Don't tell me you didn't get it. Sorry, never saw it. You're kidding, right? But I do remember that rainy day. The day we were supposed to move out. The weather forecast said it was going to be worse, so we decided to move out on Saturday. The day before... Before the rain. Excuse me? You guys left on Saturday? Nobody told me that. Yeah, my mom contacted all of her friends. I remember a bunch of people coming over to see us off. Really? Yeah, my mom says she went over to your house, but you were too busy watching your favorite variety program and went come out to say goodbye. No way. That can't be right. I don't remember any of that. You're making it up. Well, it's the truth. There's nothing you can do about it. As for Susan and I, we already got married six months ago. Today was just a reception. Are you serious? Yes. And just come out of the bathroom, would you? Let's end this whole charade. I really don't have time for this. But what about me? What am I supposed to do now? Just come out. The longer you stay there, the more trouble you're going to reap on yourself. Just come on out, Linda. It's over. But I was only trying to... Hey, Susan. How are you holding up? Oh, hey, Randy. I'm doing okay. Just recuperating at the hospital. Actually, I'm getting a bit bored. My assistant has worked things out at the office, so no problems there. But I should be getting back pretty soon. After all, I am the CEO. And Linda gave herself up too, so no more worries about her. Yeah, sorry to hear that. Guess she brought it on herself. I heard she was going to be suspended from college for what she did. A shame, really. I see. I guess there was no other option. Oh yeah. My grandmother contacted me yesterday saying she was sorry for all the trouble. You know, giving Linda our line IDs and all. Really? What's that about? I didn't know about it either, but apparently Grandma kept in touch with Linda after we moved out seven years ago. As a result, she was able to get our line info, I guess. Linda kinda talked her into giving her our line contacts. She was on the verge of tears. She couldn't stop apologizing. Really? So that's how she was able to contact us? Grandma says she wants to apologize to you directly. So could we all meet up in the near future? Yeah, no problem. I'll contact her too and assure it was not a problem. Yeah. Good idea. Thanks. I'll stop off at the hospital after work. See you then. Oh, yeah. And we have to talk about arranging another wedding reception soon. Okay, sounds good. Is there something you need? I could pick something up on the way there. Well, maybe you could pick me up a book of crosswords? No problem. The latest one, right? The one you were talking about the other day? Yeah, that's the one. Can't wait to get started on it. All right then, back to work. See you later, Randy, and thanks. As for Linda, she was cooped up in that restroom at the park for several hours. It got so out of hand that the police cordoned off the whole park. She eventually tried to escape through the back window and ran into the woods nearby, but the police caught up with her in no time. She was charged with battery. Not only did she injure me, but also knocked over one of the staff members at the reception. She now apparently has a criminal record. Linda isn't currently in her best of circumstances when it comes to family support either. Her parents are divorced and living apart. Her brother is currently living and working overseas. And her grandparents? Well, they moved into a senior citizen home long ago. On top of not having any family support, she has the added burden of paying for damages and compensation for the victims like myself. I also heard she had previous debts that she was obligated to pay. 
Her future really does not look very bright with a criminal record and all that debt hanging over her head.